All right, guys, welcome back to episode four. We've just completed the gym badge for the bug, the bug type gym, and we just found Titan, our first Titan at the stone, whatever place, stone Titan, cloth, giant cloth. And now we are off to see the fire star team. I don't know. I still don't know what's going on in this game. There's so much happening that I'm not even sure what is happening, but we're off and apparently we can dash this guy now oh look at us go look at us we're just flying through this what is that is that a cloth yeah it's a cloth we just we just defeated a cloth okay so we're gonna jump off here i'm pretty sure that's exactly where i just was but we are going to we're going this way maybe i should go up that way i don't know do i need to go back around and get up there and there's so many hills, there's so much, like, diverse landscapes in this. It's ridiculous. Well, we have to get this. Because I'm a loot goblin. How many times we gotta say it? Nothing up here. Um, yeah, we'll fly up here and see if we can't find anything. But we are on our way to fight the fire of the star team. Yeah, we were just here. Move cloth. I'm hoping this gets us up somewhere. Okay, we found a TM. That's cool. Um, you know what? Wait a minute. What even is all that? What is all this? Well, we have to find out. What's happening? What is this? I didn't even mean to find this, but we found something. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. Okay, my bad, dude. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. What? Oh, wow. We are literally already here. So we have to go storm the base like a decent person. Because apparently, I think that's where we're supposed to go. Alright, well, we'll go store in the base like a decent person then. Fine. That's, that's totally fine. Can we, can we not climb that? That looks totally climbable. Tell me I'm wrong. That looks... That looks so climbable. Alright, we're good. I was like, what in the world? Over five, all that. Okay, how do we get around there? How do we get up there? Man, we got all of this. This is crazy crazy. Just the terrain. Everything you have to go through. It's just nuts. We need to get back up there. Can we just fly somewhere? Let's see. Huh. It looks like... Huh. Alright, let me zoom in a little bit more. Can we go? I don't think we can go, like, around there. Maybe we can. No, I bet we can. If we just get over there, we can just jump off over the grass, right? I mean, that looks that looks pretty easy, pretty simple, but the grass is all higher. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're not going to get anywhere by standing here, so let's just jump off here again. Go back to exactly where we started the first time. I, I don't, I, I feel like going this way. Go this way. Oh. What are all they doing? Okay. What are all they doing? What are they all doing? We just got to get to the grass. How, though? How do we get over there? Literally, how? That's... Hmm. Maybe we'll just climb up here. we get the better chance we have I guess but this still isn't taking us anywhere either we need to get way up there got 
gotta go around a long way. We have to, guys. We have to. We have to go around a long way. Because I have no idea how else we're gonna get there. What in the world? Do we have to just go back to the city? I think we do. What? Or do we have to go way down here? In our, like, on around? Oh. I think we probably have to do that. I don't think there's any way up this, up this way. Hmm. We just saw this, and that is not crossable. Alright, well, maybe... Alright, maybe let's just go get the gym badge then. And then we'll do this. Because this will be a sweep. This is going to be easy. Yeah, this is going to be... It's fire. We've got a water star. It's going to be a breeze. So, let's just go do the grass... Gym. Okay. All my Pokemon healed and good? Yep. Okay. Well, I guess we just go back in then. I hate that. I'm sorry that we just have to go back the same way we came, but we do. Hang on, let's see if I've battled enough people that this guy will give me something. Hello, hello. Yes, so far you defeated five. I gotta defeat six? Oh my gosh, what a joke. Have I battled you? Nope. Alright, let me beat you real quick and go get my prize. That'll work. That will work. Alicia the musician. What do you got? Iggly buff. Light work. Come on. I got mid dripper. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him with a water pulse. This see it'll probably be the same, but it's just okay. That's that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Is my roommate really vacuuming right now? It is. It is. It is 11 o'clock. It is 11 p.m. And he's vacuuming right now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna edit this part out. Oh. Are you done? I think he's done. If he's done, cool. But if he's not, I'm gonna edit it out. I guess you should. Thanks for the 1100. Alright. Let's go get our prize. And then... What was that exclamation point? Oh, it could be. It was just, like, disappeared. Hello. Yes, I have. Can you give me something? That's a good one. I'll actually give that to something right now. Oops. Where's that? There it is. It restores it restores a little HP to itself every time it inflicts damage with an attack. I don't I don't didn't mean to use it. Um, restores health. Who has trouble keeping their health? You know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna give it to. I'm just gonna give it to uh, Nacho. This root boosts the amount of HP the holder restores to itself when it uses HP stealing moves. Well, that's cool, but don't don't have any HP stealing moves except for. John Deere. Uh, no. What's this? Gray light stone reduces the weight of the holder. That's whatever. So like increases their speed or something? Oh well. Okay. Let's go. Sorry for the excursion. We just had to... Is that it? Oh, we're just gonna run straight to it. Yeah, we're gonna sprint straight to it. Watch this. Oh. Uh. Items for days because I haven't been down here. It's raining too. Every
every time I see a Shinx, I think it's like a Mudkip or something. And if it was a Mudkip, I swear I would catch it and literally just release my starter Pokemon. I would. I would just release my starter Pokemon if there was a Mudkip around. Swampert would be my starter, and I'm 100% down for that. Andrea the model. Cool, cool, cool. Flabebe. Come on. We're just going to hit it with a wing attack, and it's going to one hit. It's level 12 also. Okay, yeah. Bye bye. Um, just trying to get to the gym. Let's let's speed this up. We'll get there as quickly as possible, and then we're just going to go to the Fire Star Base. We'll be good to go. Makuhita. Level 18. That's nice. What did I just. I'm trying to even keep up with the nicknames of some of these guys. Literally forgot what I named them. Porkchop. That's what I named them. Porkchop. I thought I missed something. Oh, skirt, skirt. Didn't know you could do that. Alright. Um, there's gotta be something back here. Yep. I know I hit something. There's too many. They're like little mines. Like little mines set up. This guy real quick. I, I mean, you want the XP anywhere you can get it. This lady real quick. I didn't even see, but yeah, you want the experience anywhere you can get it. Let's see what she has. Oh, Toxel. I like that Pokemon. I actually had Toxel through the entire last uh, Sword and Shield series. It's not on YouTube, but I, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't record it or anything, but I played it and I had Toxel. And I should have known that fighting is not very effective against him. What am I, what am I thinking? Oh my God. That was a rookie mistake. This is probably not even effective either. And I, I'm paralyzed. Okay. It's not. Mystic Water, it'll probably be better than that, anyways. Perfect, okay. Is that it? Are we done? Do you have another one? Okay, that's it. Nice. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Can't have him run around. Give me that coin. I don't even know what those do, but I'm gonna keep collecting them. Another little shanks. Mm. Growlithe. I was really thinking about catching a Growlithe, guys. I really was. Just don't think I'll use them. Another coin. Pokemon don't don't need any of those. Oh. Um what is this? I just want to call me. What is that? No talent. Um, should I take all these out with something? <coughs> Too. Get him too. Get them all. Get them all. Let's evolve Nacho or something. Get him. Now get him. Get him. Come on, Nacho. What? No, I 
that's it. Darn. I thought we were going to be able to get not sure we evolved. It's all good. Let's grab this item real quick. We'll fight him. And we're close to the gym. Nice. Great ball. What is that? Let's look, look at the again. Okay. I think Nacho might evolve this game, actually. Yeah, honestly, I think Nacho might evolve this game. That's pretty cool. Clutch. I should not have made Tweety my lead. It's fine, though. It's okay. Flame charge. It should work, anyway. Right? We're so hot. We're so overleveled. We, I, I don't know if we were supposed to come here first, and we just went the other way, and it became... I don't know. Maybe the other way was harder, and this was just easier. I don't know, but... Either way, Nacho's evolving. Murkrow, we'll switch, and we'll throw out Nacho just because we can. And we're going to electrocute that little bird. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a one-hit one hit KO, a one-hit dub. Nacho is going to evolve into Nacho Chase. That does nothing. Okay, so we're good. Yep, absolutely nothing. Great move. Nice. Okay. Nacho's evolving into Nacho Cheese. Right? They keep talking about treasure, and I honestly have no idea what the... Okay, Nacho's evolving. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Oh, snap! Nacho evolved into Pomo. We got Nacho Cheese. Let's get it. Pomo uses a unique fighting technique in which it uses its four paws to strike bows and zap them with electricity from its paw pads simultaneously. What? It's like a... It's like a... Clear. It's like what he does with his hands. Nice. I don't even know what that's called. Uh... Uh, wants to learn arm thrust? Sure. I have way too many fighters on my team. I know that. I thought he was supposed to be electric. Like, he only has one electric move. Because I'm about to forget charge. And this is the weakest electric move you could possibly know. Hmm. I like quick attack right now. No, I don't. Whatever. Quick attack gone. Alright, we're good. Keep charge just for a little bit. Oh my gosh. You must scared the crap out of me. Nice. We need to we definitely need to teach him better moves. Let me see. Let me see if I have any. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if we have any electric moves. No, we don't. What are these? Oh, it can be used to make TMs. I did not know that. Interesting. Okay. Well, we don't have any electric ones, so... Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. 
Get him. Now get this guy. Get this guy. <coughs> nice. Um, nah, I won't mess with the rook of these. Get him. Get him. Get him. Easy XP. I can't believe, like, how easy it is. Just, yeah, I mean, granted, you don't get much, so I guess that's downfall of it. But still, it's so easy. You just level up. You just throw your Pokemon at some other Pokemon, and it just does it itself. You know what I mean? It's clutch. It wore itself out. I just waste a ball. We will auto heal you. Because you did great work for us. Thanks so much. Let's go beat this kid up. And we're almost there. We're almost there. We obviously, I think we have to do the grass gym first. We don't have to, but it's just on the way. So we'll knock out the grass gym and then we'll go do. Oh, I thought it just glitched out for a second. And then we'll go do the fire team star stuff should not be a problem. Peeny. We got that. Ain't a problem. Flame charge is just... They're level 13. They're so low. They're honestly so low. So, I think we're gonna be fine regardless. I don't know why we're actually so much of a higher level. I literally didn't train that long. I really didn't. So, I'm kinda surprised, but... Whatever, I guess. I mean, they walk through the game if they want to. That's why this is a gameplay walkthrough. We just... Just walking right along. No problem. You battle really good. He misspelled battle. Did you guys see that? He literally misspelled battle. There's someone around. What is that? Oh, just get out. No, no, no. Did not see any of those Murkrow. How did I miss them all? I have no idea. I don't care about Murk. I don't. I don't want any. Okay, let's go up here, bro. That's seriously on the roof. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't. I don't get it. Why do they make you do these things? All right, maybe if I sprint. I jump on the tree. No. no, you can't. You have to jump off from the inside of the city. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. Let's just do it right now. Are you kidding me right now? How? How are you supposed to get up there? That is so frustrating. How are you supposed to get this stuff? What am I supposed to jump off of? How am I supposed to get up there? Guys, if you know, let me know in the comments. I do not understand. <laughs> like what? You just can't even jump over this fence. Alright, ridiculous. Whatever, I'm done. I'm over it. Let's go fight the grass gym. However, we have to do that. Are my Pokemon okay? Honestly, they're good enough. I haven't terrestrialized, like, at all. So. Okay, let's do it. Nimona, you gonna greet me at every single gym? Probably. Probably just like Arvin's gonna greet me at every single Titan. Via! Dita, what's up? Jeez, girl, why are you tripping? It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time, again! Wow, it's so random. It's crazy, it's gonna happen the rest of the game. What a weird coincidence. 
I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go. Oh, wow, weird, my, what? What are you saying? As well, battle now that you're here. <laughs> oh, I get it. No, seriously, look to prove it. I won't even challenge you to battle this time. As much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And these, add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Thanks for the stuff. Appreciate that. I'll be cheering for you. Go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tire of the gym. Why is she so cocky? She's just like, I'm just gonna go battle the whole world while you do this one thing, you freaking loser. Nimona, you don't understand. I'm gonna beat you, and I'm gonna be the champion. So, like, you better watch yourself. You better check yourself. Let me register you as your challenger. Your name is DWS. Yes. Yes, it is. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. What is that? Here at the Artisone Gym, that means completing a game of some floor hide and seek. Awesome. Awesome. As you may know, Arizona is a city of artists. I didn't know. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Cool. Since some floor embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Awesome. Your job today is to find some floor located throughout Arizona. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun shaped flowers. Wow, what? My hair's bothering me so much. I don't know why. We're good. We're fine. We're good. Remember these Pokemon look at Sunshade Flower. Gather up ten of them, bring them to the Sunflower Lawn. Ten? I'll register the Sunflower's Lawn location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right. Alright, alright. 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 Find ten Sunfloras. <clears throat> okay. I guess we will find ten Sunfloras. Hi there, I look after the Sunflora. Hope you're ready. Hide and seek. I'll go ask them to spread out. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you found 10, please bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. Got it. It's all for me now. Good luck. Alright, let's go find some Sunflora. Let's do it. Is it this easy? Is it this easy? They're just gonna be right in front of me, aren't they? Okay, well, there's three. Oh, wait, where's the rest? Where's the rest? Oh, there's one. Is there any more over there? Hey, hey, come here, hey, come here. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, don't don't run. Don't run. Oh gee, what's happening? Do I have to battle half of these some floors? Some floor, you're toast. You're literally toast. just happened um uh, my video just stopped recording right in the middle um it which is kind of fine i just ended up getting up made some food my roommate kept vacuuming so i mean it kind of worked out but i have no idea why that happened so i didn't move we didn't go anywhere guys jumping right back into it again have no idea why that happened it just stopped so we still have four some flora okay we're, we're, we're back in this. I don't know what happened. I don't know why that happened. It was really annoying. We need... That's a sunker. We need six more. Still. Okay. We're back in this. That was really weird, guys. I don't know why that happened or how, but... Oh, there's one. Look around. Look around. Okay. Well, there's one. Okay. We got five. There's one right there.
right there. And there's another one to my left. Okay. Six. We got six of them. Some of them are getting lost. This one, we're gonna hop on our bike, jump over all this nonsense. Actually, let's just look for him on this. I don't, I don't care if there's some four hour following me or not. There's one. Nice. Wait, whoa. This dude was just floating. We already caught him though, right? We have eight. Okay, we need. I don't know if y'all saw that. He was just like floating. We need two more. Where are they? Did we make a whole lap? did. Made a whole lap. Are there any back here playing on the playground? There's one. More. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's the last one too, right there. Oh, I don't want to drink. I do not. I do not want to drink. Alright, cool. Nine. Ten. All right, let's go. Some floor long. Come on, guys. <clears throat> I got them. I got them all, guys. I. It's. It's kind of funny. It worked out, but I just genuinely have no idea why it stopped recording. That's so weird. Oh well. Gym test. Got them. Passed. Money. Brought them all back to the farm for you. Or whatever. Okay, well done on finding all this on Flora. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the Artisan Gym to report your result. Sweet. And the gym's right here. Nice. And again, okay, this is the grass gym, so we need Tweety. We need Tweety up front. <coughs> Mid Drippa. He's got flying moves. Uh, should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine with just those two. Because, I, again, I think they're, like, way higher level. So we should be alright. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Finish the challenge. Let's do it. Yes. I am absolutely 100% ready. We got this in the bag. Very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Okay, let's go. This is for our second gym badge, guys. We're, we're working our way through the ranks. I don't know how much. It seems like there's so much to do in this game. Like, I haven't even touched the Team Star people. I've done one Titan. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot to do in this game, honestly. What is he doing up there? Bro, what? Okay. Spider-Man, let's, let's do this. You did well to come this far. I'm Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type. I'm also the gym leader here. I figured. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. Well, okay. The perception you displayed in finding some floor was truly, oh, how shall I describe it? Masterful? Perfect? That's not the avant-garde? That's not the word I would have chosen, but it's fine. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Dude, you're not going to have a chance to attack. That's how bad this is going to be. All right, we must begin. Artists are just strange sometimes. Nothing against artists, but why do you guys gotta be so... Like, I would say I'm an artist, but... I don't know, maybe it's just the characters. Artists are always portrayed to be so weird. But they're not, they're just smart in a different way than most people, you know? But, I don't know, this dude's weird. This gym leader is weird. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle else your feet will nourish my Pokemon. See, like, that's what I'm saying, like... Weird. Flame charge. You're die. You're you're, you're die. You're dead, Petalil. You're done. I told you, bro. You're not even gonna get a chance to, to hit. Petalil's done. What what else? What else we got? Level 21? That's honestly too much. <sighs> that's too much. I think that's my probably my highest level. I don't I don't think there's anything else higher level than that. Is there? Let me just check. No, this is literally my highest level Pokemon somehow. Well, okay. I mean, easy money. 
Let's just sweep through this gym real quick. Cash money. Wants to learn bite? Absolutely. Let's learn it. For charge, yeah. We'll do a charge. Okay. Nacho is looking to be a pretty good Pokemon. He's got a ground type move, electric type move, a dark type move, and a fighting type move. Like, wow. I mean, that's... That's pretty awesome. At this level, I think Nacho is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Sudowoodo. Okay, it's rock type. What's the catch? No, I'm gonna keep it. It's a rock type, but he's got to use his like tester a lot, Terra to whatever it is. It's the same thing that the lady used on our Teddy Ursa. Our Teddy Ursa, Teddy Ursa is not a bug, but she turned it into a bug. So I'm assuming he's going to do the same thing here. It's a rock type, but it's going to turn into a grass type. That's what I'm thinking. Flame charge. I hope, I hope, truly Wudo, whatever, dude. I hope it turns into a grass type. Because Wudo was rock, and that's like the whole joke and like the meme behind it. It's like it looks like a tree, but it's a rock type. Yeah, perfect. Grass type. Shouldn't have done it, man. One hit. His Pokemon will not even get, an, get a chance to attack. Okay, never mind. Did a lot less damage than I thought it would. It's fine. Okay, I was afraid of that. I was. I was afraid of that. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um. Oh, nope. Mid drip up. Wait, what do you have? No. Mid drip up. Come on. We're just going to hit it with wing attack, and hopefully that'll be nice for it. Nope. It's super effective, but it's, like, not hitting like it is super effective. I don't know what the deal is here. I'm still am not completely sure on how the terrestrializing thing works. And I might be dead. I might be dead. Okay. We're alive. Hopefully this last hit will do it. Okay, well, we kind of just breezed through that one. Don't think it gets much easier than that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. Alrighty. Oh, what artistic tactics do you employ? The patterns of your moves, the minute de minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in a word, art, indeed. If we could not call that work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. Alright, man. If I were to judge your work, I'd say it passes my inspection. Awesome. It's proof of your artistic prowess. You may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? I guess. You look really angry. Sweet. Okay. And we got Trailblaze. I can teach that to John Deere. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Goodbye. Okay. Now, I think from here, we go to the Fire Star Team or whatever. And I hope they're higher level. Because at this point, I feel like we're OP. I feel like we are genuinely way too strong. Pardon me, would you be the D-Dub I've been hearing so much about? Yes. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy, yes indeed. Oh, but I do apologize, I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. Hi, my name's Sassel. I'm one of the Elite Four. Oh. I also teach art, art classes, of course, you teach art and you're here. So do tell me, young D-Dub, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? My friend asked me to. I don't know. Asked and answered. He's like, okay, well, whatever. Naturally, there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, they say. You know, your friend Amona is the youngest to achieve Poke champion ranking in Paldea in history. That's just going to be funny when I'm like, ah, my friends wanted me to, and then I just win. I beat them all. I'm just like, yeah, I didn't really care. My friends just kind of wanted me to do it. 
It's entirely possible that such a great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. Ain't no problem, so I ain't worried about it. You'd be wise to train hard starting now. It'll save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Whatever, bro. Hmm, 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 Whatever, bro. Dark Beverly. All right. <sighs> did that thing so now let's go here yes okay we just need to go we have to find a Pokemon Center for sure because I'm a little weak after that one yes Why does Hoss, why does my dog look so, like, in pain? He just looks like he's in pain. I haven't even used him once. I, I think so. I think I do. Oh. Okay, we're gonna switch Tweety out, because Tweety's OP. So is Midrippa. We need John, Nacho, and Porkchop up here. Also, guys, I did learn that Nacho will evolve into its third and final form if I just run around with him. That's literally all I have to do. So I have to, like, send him out to attack Pokemon, you know, like, auto battle or whatever, and he just runs around, and he'll eventually evolve. So, oh, we have to actually rename him. Okay, we, we have to. He evolved into Nacho. He's Nacho. He evolved into Nacho Cheese. We just have to do it. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Will it even fit? Perfect. Fits perfect. Can't enter that name? I can't call him Nacho Cheese? What is that, trademarked? Is Nacho Cheese trademarked? Like, actually. Or I just can't name him a, a food. But I got Pork Chop. I named him Pork Chop. think you're gonna get around me are you serious I can't name him nacho cheese what I have never Wow, I literally can't name him Nacho Cheese. Wait a minute, I want to test something. Now I'm interested. I want to test something. I can name him Dorito, but I can't name him Nacho Cheese? Fine, whatever. Nacho has evolved into Dorito, and... Why can't I name him Nacho Cheese? What what the heck is wrong with Nacho Cheese? Like actually, I tried I tried every single different spelling of the word cheese, and I was like, was it because it's trademarked or something? But then I can use Dorito, which which makes no sense. Whatever, you're not Nacho anymore. You you evolved into Dorito, so congratulations. Whatever. Now I'm actually just mad that I can't name him Nacho Cheese. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, everybody's healed. Everybody's healthy. But I don't want Tweety in the front. Let's put John in the front. Yeah, yeah, John Deere. John Deere's in the front. Okay, and... Mm, 
what's the best route? I think we go out this way. Fly here. Yep, I don't even got time to run across the town. I just want to fly on over there and get going. Nice. Okay. So now... Okay, this should be easy enough. Why? Why? What is with these rules? Okay. I was about to be so mad. Like, why can't I ride my, my, my radon? Hey, look, there's those Tauros. I don't want one. I think they're kind of useless, but... If you like them, hey, by all means. I just feel like, aren't they normal types? If they're not, then... Great, but I just thought they were normal types, and I feel like normal types are just some of the worst type of Pokemon you can have. So. Um, I have no idea what that is. Let's try this. It's not very effective. Awesome. Yeah, I have, I have no idea what that thing is. It's probably a grass type. Awesome. Apparently, and there's a flying move, which is ridiculous. Just hit with Leech Seed, I guess. Oh, I just about spilled Dr. Pepper all over my keyboard. That would have been terrible. Let's see how this does. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's a grass type. Maybe not. Apparently not. That does way too much for Bullet Seed. Way too much. Hit it one more time. Darn it. Yeah, I don't know what type this is. I don't know what type this is. Get it. Yes. Nice. Cool, cool. What is that? What is that over there? Is that a Darumaka? What is that? Is that the evolved form of like Lechonk or something? It is. It's the evolved form of Lechonk. Wait a minute. There's a lot of cool Pokemon here. What is that? What is that? Is this a koala? No way. No way. <clears throat> We're 100% catching this. I don't even care what it is. Kamala's? A Kamala. Uh... Yeah, we're catching this 100%. Like, what in the world? I wonder if it is good. Is it a grass type? It has to be. Right? This is a new Pokemon, though. I've never seen it. Hit it again. Hit it a couple more times. Just get it as weak as possible. I'm gonna throw. Get it again. Nice! John Deere. Let's go. Perfect. I'm getting sleepy. That is honestly such an adorable Pokemon. We just have to catch it. I honestly want to catch it in a Great Ball because it's blue. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, Great Ball. Great Ball it is. That's fine. That did a little too much damage. I guess it is level 20. It has to be a grass type, right? It has to be. Whatever. Come on in, Dorito. Let's just throw a ball at it. And get out of here. Great ball. I want I want to catch it in a blue one. Done deal. Are you kidding? This time for sure, Kamala. Don't mess around. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, fine. Fine. Thundershock. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Oh, nice. Barely did anything. Awesome. Great Ball. Don't make me use all my Great Balls on you, Kamala. Guys, this is unbelievable. I don't even know if I'm going to use this Pokemon. I just want it. Alright, fine. Are you special? Are you special? You gotta have the Premier Ball. Are you really gonna be like that, Kamala? Unbelievable. Okay, I don't know what to do at this point. Do I really hit it with Thunder Wave again? I'm asleep. I really want to catch it in a blue one. Yes! Yes! My last Great Ball. Okay, we gotta see what this Pokemon does, because I am down. Oh, it's a normal type? Right after I just got done trashing all normal types. A potent anesthetic can be made by diluting Kamala's drool. This anesthetic was used for surgeries in the past. Cool. Well, unfortunately, Kamala... think you might be useless I just don't like normal type Pokemon guys like I just normal types are I mean it's like come on bro do something else you know he could at least have been grass I want him too what is he what is what is he lit Leo lit Leo it's actually that that's a perfect name for him I didn't know that was his name he's been in other generations though like he's this isn't like his first gen but Lit Leo, I've seen him, and I was actually gonna nickname him Leo, but I did forget it. I did, I forgot his name. But I guess that name kind of works perfect. Awesome, Dorito. Awesome. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. Oh, nice. And I'm still sleeping. Come on, Dorito. Dude, your eyes are open. You're sleeping with your eyes open right now? Dead. Dorito, you lied to me, bro. You acted like you were asleep. I do want that little Leo, though. Alright, we'll, we'll throw in Pork Chop. I know Lit Leo is going to be super effective against fighting. I don't want to kill it, but I, I mean, it's level 22. I do want to hurt it. Never, never seen that move. Perfect. I, I, I think it's super effective, actually. I don't even know. Okay, it is. Isn't he like dark fire? Or is he just dark? Let me just hit him with it again. Oh my gosh! Am I going to lose my whole team just trying to catch some freaking wild Pokemon? Is ridiculous. Hit him again. Perfect. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm just gonna throw some stuff at him. Not a Ultra Ball. It's ridiculous. Nice. Nice. We will nickname him because we might use him. We might use him over Tweety. Fire and normal. It's so annoying. The whole normal typing is just a scam. The more a little Leo trains its body and spirit by battling mighty enemies, the hotter its mane will grow. Hmm. He might be a good fire type, but I hate that he's normal too. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna give him a nickname. His name is Lit Leo. We're just gonna name him. Lil Leo. Because I was already going to name him that in the first place, guys. I promise. Like, that was my idea in the first place. Lil Leo. Or I was just going to call him Leo. 
because he's a little lion. But now he's a little Leo. Okay. Let's see his summary. We might switch him out. Speeds down, attacks up. That's nice, I guess. Brave. Where's his move? Oh, work up, headbutt, noble roar, takedown, bro. You don't even have a fire move? Straight to the boxes, dog. Come on, little Leo. Thought you were better than that, man. Fletch Ender is just... My Tweety is way better. Okay. Well, that was fun. I almost killed half my Pokemon. I do like Teddy Ursa a lot, but I'm not going to waste my time with that right now. I'm not going to mess with Teddy Ursa. He's good. Let's go heal up and then go raid this person over here. Little Leo. Battle this guy first, I guess. Because we need all the XP we can get. I know there's like a tiny bit of lag, so none of that is gonna look like it was on beat, but it's fine. I don't even know what typing Slowpoke is. Okay, obviously a water type or something. What else would not be, would be not very effective to fire? I'm not even gonna deal with it. All right, let's switch to Johnstead. Switch to Haas. We haven't used Haas once. We have not used him a single time since we got him. Well, we have. But we literally used one move. So, we're we'll bringing in Haas. Come on, little buddy. Okay. See those rookies? What? Oh my gosh! I saw that pig's tail and thought it was like some sort of flamingo or something. Trip me out for a second. All right. Okay. We definitely don't want John Deere in the front for this. It is a this is going to be majority fire types. So we're just going to put mid Drippa. Just going to throw him in the front. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. There's little Leos everywhere. I wish they were just, they had better moves. Oh, look, there's a different color John Deere. That's a green one. It's an actual, that's a legitimate John Deere right there. that? It's a Cyclozar. Is the Cyclozar... Does the Cyclozar evolve into Maradon? I don't even know what kind of Pokemon this is. I have no idea what type it is. super effective. That's nice. Um, now I want to use Aqua Jet. And please don't die. Nice. I'm going to throw some balls at it and hopefully we catch it. I don't know what it is, but if it evolves into Maradon, I don't know. I genuinely don't know what it is. <coughs> we'll use this because I just found one, apparently. 
Please be smooth. Awesome smooth. Okay. Acrobatics? Yes. Yes, please. 55, 100. 35, 100. We will go ahead and forget Peck. Yep, and I'll probably just forget Quick Attack next on that, because Quick Attack, I mean, we're past the, the point of using Quick Attack, so. Or we're about to be. Sweet! We got a Cyclozar. Mount Pokemon? Dragon Normal. Awesome. It can sprint over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. The rider's body heat warms Cyclozar's back and lifts the Pokemon's spirit. Okay. Um, no, we're not going to nickname it because I don't know what to do with it. We're going to send it to the box. Might use him later. Huh. He's got to evolve into this guy that I'm riding, right? He has to. He literally has to. It just it only makes sense. Did not mean to do that. I slid. Slid too far. wanted that. Just wanted that. Alright. Another Cyclozar. There's little chunks everywhere. There's no way. Oh, okay. I thought I ran into another wild Pokemon. I was like, I was way far away from it. I see you're getting close to one of the team star bases. I think this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. That's right. I mean, thank you. Um, with this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Cool. Hold on a second. Who the heck is that? This is, this is, okay, listen. Here's the thing. Here's my theory. Here's my theory, guys. This is, that's Mr. Clavel. That's literally Mr. Clavel. That is literally Director Clavel or whatever. The one who's always like, Master D-Dub. Ho, ho, ho. The name's Clive. Yeah, okay. That's definitely Clavel. How long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of your mutual friend here, isn't that right, Edo? Um, uh, no. <sighs> yeah, no. Ah, shies over I see. <laughs> We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. That is definitely Mr. Clavel. He is evil. I knew it. I knew it. He felt weird from the beginning. And honestly, so does Arvin. Arvin feels weird. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Cloud. Whatever. Great. That settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Kesso Pete. Whatever. Was it? Who exactly are you? Hmm. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I have to say for now. I see in that case I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of the Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put it into their rule, put it into their rule, you mean? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Beat the five squads, front gates. Okay, beat them, just beat the five squads. Sometimes I just can't with all their banter and dialogue. Oh, I can see them over there. On the other side of those, somewhat within the base lies one of your targets, a squad boss, a squad boss. Okay, let's just go, let's go get them. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Sorry if I'm impatient, guys. I just, like, I'm ready to go. I feel like there are so many cutscenes in this, in this game. Which is fine. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, D-Dub. They're basically declarations of war. Now, all the Team Star knows that we are looking for a fight. Awesome. So they basically all hate me already. Thanks a lot. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, d -Dub. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. Okay. First thing first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the five gates. 
what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have the history of Team Star. It means I can't operate in the open. I'll back you up from afar. All right. And what will my role be? I think this is pretty simple, guys. I don't think we need to talk about this this much. I really don't. I think I think we just go in there. We beat everyone. I, I think I got it. I got it. All right. And you are a dirty no good traitor. I already know you are. Yeah, Director Clavel. Exactly. Okay, maybe it's too easy. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Bro, you are literally the director. I'm so confused. What just happened? What is happening? Alright, whatever. Whatever. We're just gonna do an automatic heal. Okay. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. <laughs> I'm not turning back. You're going to have to go through me. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense. It's not right out of you. All righty, then. Let's do it. Actually, a pretty big move for such a little puppy. All right, bye bye now. Are you serious? I'm actually surprised it survived that. What level is that Hondor? Oh well. Yeah, that was. Terrible, Team Star Grunt. Terrible. I know. I know. Are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me D-Dub. That's right. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> hey, D-Dub. Here come cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. Battled one person. Casapia told me to scope out the fire cruise base. I thought I'd give you some backup now that I'm through. It seems you're all set. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want that thing. I want it. Is that you, Charlos? Charlos? Is that like its actual name or is that a nickname? Because that's a great nickname. Charlos? That's hilarious. I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. That is such a good nickname, bro. Not even that bad. It's genius. One of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Okay. Adorable. I want it. I actually want that one. I think he should be my fire type in the party, to be honest with you. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry. I'll re regroup with you soon enough. Okay. Got it. Let's go. And my phone's ringing. I am a celebrity. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Yeah, I have one hound door. Super easy. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the scheduled squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. Okay. I bet even now our grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the squad off the map. Whatever that was. Whatever that word was. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, I'm, I'm not wasting no time, alright? Let's do it. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The first three Pokemon in your party? Okay, hang on. Let me <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me take a step back. We have Dorito, Drippa, and Tweety. And this is a fire type, right? Okay, wait. Let's put Porkchop up here. Instead of Dorito, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or instead of Tweety. Because they're going to be apparently like dark and fire types, right? <laughs> I 
I said it's weedy. <sighs> we'll just auto heal. Awesome. All right, yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Yes. Let's jump right into it. Let's go mid dripper. Team Star Wars unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you only need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The crunch you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Okay. Interesting. This is like a whole new battle style then. Some jumped up kid is wandered in with the thing he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with us. Teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes. 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes? Okay, I might have bit off more than I could chew. I don't even know. Our boss might just aren't you with an appearance. 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes. Okay. They better all be baby houndors. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. <clears throat> you lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before the time runs out, press Y. I'm not giving up. This is so weird. This is so different, and there's never been anything like this in the history of Pokemon ever. Go, go, go. Get him. Get him, Drippa. Keep sending. Keep sending. Go, go, go. Porkchop is literally dead. Um, do I need to heal a, a... How do I heal... How do I heal Porkchop? Where is a vending machine? What's happening? What, what? Like, actually... Where? Where are they? Can I just... Um, I don't know what to do. Mid drip is taking them all. Go, Dorito. Go, Mid Drippa. Dorito's about to die. Oh, I got dizzy. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what to do. How do I heal? How do I heal them? Drippa will just take on literally all of them. It's it's not even a problem. Bro, get out of here, bro. I don't need fun on Get out of here, Hound Door. Okay. Where's other ones? Where's other ones? Numels? I love how these are just all just absolute mid Drippa XP boosters. Get them all. Get them all. the next ones. Houndor, piece of cake. Four of them. Give me, give me eight of them. I am not even worried. Mid Drippa is just having fun out here. My little kung fu chicken. I didn't even need the other two Pokemon. I'm just kidding. Pork chop, Dorito. I really appreciate your help. You guys did awesome. But Mid Drippa is literally just gonna take them all along. He's not even. He's not even getting touched out here. Sorry, I keep going around in circles, guys. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is cake. I could defeat 30 more with this guy. Piece of cake. Easy money. I don't. I didn't know how to heal. I didn't see a single vending machine or anything. So, I don't know about that. 
What in the world is this? What? Boss of Team Star's fire crew. Mel Mela? Mela. Okay, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. Actually, I'm the dope that's kicking the crap out of you guys by myself. I don't know. Why'd you do something so stupid? And I don't care. You challenge us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. I'd love to see you try, unless you're gonna run me over that car. I don't know, man. I don't know. Those are some pretty crazy boots, though. Pretty crazy boots. I'm, I'm also digging the disco balls and the speakers. Loki, like your, like your vehicle. What am I doing? Facing the truck? Oh, you threw a torque hole on it. Okay. I was like, do I have to beat the vehicle? Water pulse, water pulse, and water pulse again. Wow, how was how did it do nothing? What level is that thing? I'm over here being so cocky, and it's like a super effective move is not doing anything. And a not very effective move is taking half my health. What in the world? Okay, I might have spoke too soon. Um, Mela, can you please go easy on me? Level 27? Alright, the Terra type is water. Here's what I'm thinking. I might have to use that. I might have to use that later. I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to keep water pulsing until Midriva is dead. How many Pokemon does she have? I didn't see. Like, I'm assuming she has like three. Critical hit? And it did that much? Like, that's it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, she only has two. It's fine. It's fine. I'm actually getting a little worried. How is that last one a critical hit? It is like the same. Dang. That hurts. Alright. Come on out here, pork chop. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. Why do I never use fake out? I should always use fake out first. It's just it doesn't matter. Well I should have I still should have used fake out first, but wow. I can't believe you just rolled me like that. <sighs> Crap. <clears throat> Crap. Okay. Dig. Nice. Can I dig up through the, through the truck? I hope so. Please don't die. Awesome. I'm surprised I get to go first. I guess it is a turtle, so it should be slow. Okay, holy smokes, we got one. This is actually tougher than I thought it would be. One. One HP. What's the point of this? Revive room? Sending out Revive Room. Oh no. I'm battling the vehicle? The vehicle is a Pokemon. Revive Room. I want that Pokemon, are you kidding me? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, well, what type is it? Okay, apparently, Dig is super effective. We're just gonna use Dig then. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I'm battling a truck. I'm battling a truck. Rev off room. I am literally battling a truck. This is insane. What in the world? Oh no. I hope John Deere is faster than this truck, because if not, it's getting incinerated. Wow, it's gonna let me hit. 
Double kicks not gonna do much though. Man, I'm scared, guys. This is looking good. Yeah, we need to just No, no, absolutely not. What if I did this? What if I tried to hit it with a with a leech seed? That way each turn it just has Oh my god. Why am I facing a truck? What do we have? Acrobatics and quick attack. Oh no. Alright, Hoss. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use you to revive mid trip. There's no way I'm beating this truck. What in the world? Do I have a max revive? Because that would be clutch. Okay, Hoss. Nice, nice. Okay, that's okay. At least you stayed alive a little bit. Darn. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to beat this truck. Why in the world am I even fighting truck? Wow, that did nothing. That did literally nothing. I don't know what to do here. Lick it. Literally just lick it and try and get it paralyzed. Because there's nothing There's nothing I can do. I have no idea. I'm fighting a truck right now. I still cannot believe what is happening. There's no way that's real Pokemon. What is this, Transformers? Dead. Awesome, they're not dead. It's not very effective. Cool. Tweety, do something, please. Alright, that's the best damage we've seen so far. Do it again. Hmm. Do it again. Just keep going. What else do I have that could possibly leave nothing? Do it again. Awesome. You're doing great. I might just have to keep reviving Tweety. Because I can actually withstand the damage. Tweety, you're a beast, by the way. Please don't die. <sighs> okay. We're going to use mid Drippa. We're going to let him take one hit. We might have to come in and just do this again. We're going to let him take one hit, and if he survives that one hit, we will revive Tweety. Same with Tweety. If it survives one hit, we'll revive mid Drippa. We'll keep doing that. We'll keep doing that. But if not, if it doesn't even survive one hit, I think we're just screwed. I think we, we, we're at a loss. Alright, we're fine. We should be okay. Survived the hit, and I'm burned. It's okay. I can't believe this is happening right now. I actually can't fighting a truck. Alright, we're about to use all the revives I have. Well, we have plenty of them, so I guess it's not too big of a deal. You screech or something. Give me another hit. Please, the burn. Don't kill me. Just do four damage. Yes! Oh my gosh, I get another hit. Wow. I thought I got another hit. I should have used Aqua Jet. I thought I went first. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, this is going to be the longest battle you've ever seen. Unless unless the truck gets like a critical hit or something ridiculous. I'm going to use Acrobatics. Please, I'll die. Awesome. Okay, so it survived a hit. Gave a hit. I'm going to revive again. Because I have to. Man, it's the only way I'm going to win this. This is ridiculous. But we found a way. We will not lose. No, we're not.
not gonna lose. We're gonna win. Slowly but surely. Wow, I cannot believe this is going to this. I cannot believe it. We should have just used another, like, super potion or something on, on uh, Drippa, but it's all good. Let's drop him back in, hit him with the water pulse, and just see what happens. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. We're good. Critical hit dead. So close. If I hit, if I hit it with Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet always goes first. This is risky. I'm pretty sure it always goes first. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. It goes first. Every time. Nice! I can't believe it. We just killed a truck. There's no way that's a real Pokemon. What is happening? What was that? This is really how it's going to end? What a hassle. I don't even know what happened. Like, what? what is this? I get a story into her life? About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? What? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp. You know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true. Blah, blah, blah. The girls of the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a, sh a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Well, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you two, whatever. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. Big boss, what prey is their plan? So this must be all five, obviously, of the leaders. They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stuck. The thrill's burning me right up. Okay. Well, I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. I love how, like, in these in these games, like, I understand it's just a game, obviously, but I love how in these games, you know, you get this backstory, and people are like, I've worked my whole life for this, and now, since you've beat me in this one Pokemon battle, everything's over. I'm a failure in life, because you just beat me in this one battle, and everything I've worked for for the past 10 years, gone, forever. And it's like, relax, drama queen. The Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. Yeah, I know. Beating me in this battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Alright, I guess I will. I mean, I just beat a semi-truck. What is this picture, dog? You, I know you can pose better than that. What even is that? While I'm at it, you can have this TM2. Not like I'm gonna use it. Cool, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, you can't teach a truck flame charge, can you? It's ridiculous. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you, okay? I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. Well, my Quaxwell can't learn flame charge. It's a water type, Mela. You got what you came for, now leave me alone. Alright, fine. Clive, I don't like you. I just don't. I don't know what you're up to, man. There's a Pokemon I'd like you, you to see, Mela. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, it's a Char- it's Charles, or whatever. Charlos. Well, if ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to his base looking for you. He did. He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? <laughs> to me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? This is so, so sad. They say Team Stars hold itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, it hasn't changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. What about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with the big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall. No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's memory will always treasure.
What's up, Caspia? It seems Mayla no longer carries your star badge. Symbol of her status is a boss. She gave it to you. Yeah, I'm the boss now. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shigar squad shouldn't last long. I am the fire boss of the star squad, okay? Caspia, who I've never met, who I don't know who's telling me to do all these stupid things. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. <laughs> Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Thanks for the cash. That's it? I just did this for money? You think I work for you? Wow. That was gonna give me like some cool items. No, it's just giving me money. I'm taking the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs. You can make it TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's better capabilities, battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much you deserve an extra reward. So I'm reading so much, my mouse getting dry. Oh, hey, Eevee girl. Penny. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of the tight spot in the school stairs. I remember that. <clears throat> oh, so you do remember. Don't act like you're going to fight me, Penny. Jeez. I'm helping with Operation Starfall. It's part of my independent study, you know. Treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. You look like that. So here you go. Your bonus reward is this. Nice. She just looks smart. Like, she could do that. I can't. And Cassopia... Said you'll get more rewards each time you take one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you're pretty amazing. With the trainer as strong as you on her side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. Awesome. Four more squad bosses left, so, um, didn't read that last word. Fluffy Eevee backpack girl. Good old Penny. Okay. Man, that was a lot. I guarantee you I'm going to take like ten steps and my phone's going to ring or something. Well, now what? I mean, I guess, guys, I guess we're going to, I guess we're going to stop here and we will carry on. What episode even is this Four? we will, we will carry on on episode five. Let's see what we're going to do. What is next? What is next and up and coming? Oh, looks like this, the electric gym badge. I think that's what we do next. So. That is what we will do next. Be sure to like and subscribe to keep following along, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you.